Alrecht, folks. As our brave adventurers dive headfirst into the wild, they quickly set up their camps, but don't get too comfy. It's a classic showdown of strategies, and let's just say, men and women tackle this survival challenge like it's an extreme version of Monopoly. Competition kicks off faster than a caffeine-fueled game night. As the days stretch on and conditions take a nosedive, both teams find themselves battling something more terrifying than an 8 a.m. class, resource management. Discussions about self-elimination pop up like annoying pop quizzes, and it becomes crystal clear, teamwork is the secret sauce for survival. With food supplies dwindling, strategies are evolving quicker than your roommate's excuses for not doing the dishes. Now, just when you thought things couldn't get any spicier, enter the challenges. Every 10 days, teams are pitted against each other in a survival gauntlet. Leaders must be chosen, and trust me, picking the right one is harder than choosing which Netflix show to binge. The stakes are higher than a double espresso at finals week. Meanwhile, over at the men's camp, chaos reigns supreme. Leadership debates and food scarcity create tension that could rival any group project nightmare. Imagine the stress levels rising like your blood pressure before a big exam. Yikes. On the flip side, the women's team strikes gold after a successful challenge. Their morale skyrockets like they just found out there's a new taco truck on campus, while the boys are left licking their wounds, and probably their empty snack bags. Talk about a confidence boost. But wait, there's more. Mother Nature isn't playing nice, as Rain and Poison Ivy make their debut, turning the survival experience into a real-life game of Survivor, Nature's Revenge. Both teams are left grappling with not just their physical limits but their mental states too. Because who can think straight when itchy rashes are involved? Then comes Josh, the noble warrior who decides to exit the competition. And let me tell you, his departure shakes up the dynamics more than a bad Wi-Fi connection during a Zoom call. Now everyone's left wondering how the rest of the crew will hold up without him. Resilience? Strategy? More like a game of survival bingo. As we roll into the second challenge, it becomes apparent that shelter and teamwork are the real MVPs here. Contestants face a dilemma worthy of a reality show, personal comfort or group success. Kind of like whether to hit the snooze button or actually go to class. Tough choices, my friends. Meanwhile, Phaedra finds herself in a bit of a pickle, isolated while the boys laugh it up like they're at a frat party. Her struggle with loneliness is a harsh reminder that even amidst the competition, social bonds are as crucial as a well-stocked fridge in a dorm. And speaking of emotional tolls, let's chat about the contestants' priorities. Some opt to see their families, proving that no trophy can replace a good hug. Because in the wild, when everything else is terrifying, family support is like a warm blanket on a frigid night. Now, just when you thought it couldn't get crazier, a bear rolls into the men's camp. No, not the cute teddy bear, but the real deal. This unexpected guest brings danger like an uninvited roommate crashing your movie night. The encounter forces them to tap into their survival instincts. It's a real test of courage and definitely a moment for a bear-wise serious conversation. As the competition continues, contestants are busy plotting and strategizing like it's a chess match with high stakes. Resource management and psychological strength become the name of the game. Their interactions reveal how competitive the spirit can be, even with personal struggles lurking in the background like an overdue library book. And oh boy, enter dude wipes. These bad boys are the creme de la creme of cleanliness. Gone are the days of rough toilet paper. This is survival chic people. Their introduction is treated with all the seriousness of a fashion show, highlighting the contestants' quest for comfort amidst chaos. Now let's talk game strategy. The contestants' tactical moves are major players in their winning chances. Honestly, it's like the survival equivalent of picking the right seat in a lecture hall. Every choice counts, and one wrong move can lead to disaster. Just ask anyone who's tried to sit in front of the professor for extra brownie points. As we hit day 60, a pivotal challenge arises that puts the contestants' negotiating skills to the test. Approving each other's wishes is like trying to agree with your roommate on which pizza to order. Collaboration and trust become the names of the game. Who knew survival could be so diplomatic? Through the ups and downs, the struggle for mental fortitude is real. Contestants find themselves wrestling with psychological endurance, equally as vital as physical strength. It's like dealing with finals weak anxiety on repeat, overwhelmed, yet somehow still pushing through. And then we reach a dramatic turning point, the results of the competition come crashing down like an unexpected test. Emotions run high, with joy and disappointment mixing together like the worst of smoothies. But hold on, the girls' team is celebrating their victory like they just found the last piece of cake, go team. Amidst all the competition, camaraderie shines through. Participants rally around each other like a supportive study group, helping to shoulder the challenges. Because in the end, it's not just about winning, 
it's about creating a sense of community and sharing those sweet survival victories together.